Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can transfer a website from one domain to another domain only by using WordPress logins. So something like this. The website has been transferred from this domain to this domain. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now for this video, we will be transferring a website. Let's learn wordpress.com slash demo. This is a demo theme from Info. Anyway, we will transfer this website to a completely new domain, which is this one. This domain has WordPress installed. Since we are not using cPanel or FTP, we will require login details for both of the websites. Anyway, let me close this. Let's first log in to this website and download all the required files and database. Go to its dashboard, wp-admin, and enter the credentials. We need to access the database and files of this website without the cPanel. So to do that, go to Plugins and Add New, and search for File Manager. This is the plugin. Install it. This plugin will give access to all the website files. Activate the plugin. So the plugin has been activated. Click here. Now here are all the website files. But we do not need to download all of them. The only files we need are HT Access, WP Content, and WP Config file. Let's download them. Right click and download. It will zip the file and download it. So the download has begun. Also, please note some server has file download limitation. In such case, the only option will be to use the cPanel. So the file has been downloaded. Show in folder. Let me open the zip file. Let me extract all these files to a folder. We now have all the website files. The next step is to get the database of this website. In order to access the database without a cPanel, Google PHP My Admin. Click on the site and download the file. By the way, please check our other detailed video on this PHP My Admin. So it is done. And I will put this in the same folder. We need to upload this to access the database. I will close this all. Click on Upload Files. Select Files. And upload the zip file. So the zip file is here. Right click and extract files here. Yes. So here is it. You can delete the zip file. Also, I will rename this to phpMyAdmin. Let me copy this name and press Enter. Now go to the site URL slash the folder name and enter. For the username and password, you can check the wp-config file. You can either open this or the one we downloaded. Let me open this one. Right click and choose edit with notepad++. If you do not have this, simply google notepad++ and install it. Anyway, here is the database username. Copy this. and paste it. 
and here is the database password and login. So we are now in the database of this website. Click on the database name and click on export and click export. So here is the database. Let me put it in the same folder. So now we have the website files and the database. Now the last thing we need from this site is the theme settings. Please note each website might have different theme settings. For Enfold, click on the theme name. Scroll down and find Import Export. And Export Theme Settings. Please check with your website theme to find the theme settings. Let me put this in the same folder. Now we have all the files and database we require to make the transfer. So everything is done here. Let me close this all. Now let me go to another site where we want to transfer the website. Log in it to its backend wp-admin. Enter the details. So here, we also need to upload the earlier files. So go to Plugins and Add New. And download the same plugin file manager. Install the plugin. And activate it. Click on File Manager. So here are all the website files of this site and we need to replace the files. This HT access file may or may not be replaced, depending on the custom codes used from this file. We will need this wp-config file to know the database information of this website. And this wp-content folder contains all plugins and themes of this website, but we will be replacing all this with our downloaded files. Now let's first upload the WP Content folder. Let me compress this WP Content folder. So here is the zip file. Let me upload it here. Click on Uploads, select Files and upload it. Now extract this zip file. Right click and extract files here. This will merge all the files with the existing WP content folder. Anyway, click on yes. So we have replaced the WP content folder. If we open this folder and open themes, you can see we have new and as well old themes. Now we can delete this WP content zip file. After this, we need to update the database of this website. For that, we need to first access the database. We will again use the same phpMyAdmin, uploading the phpMyAdmin. Extract it. Delete this file. Rename the phpMyAdmin folder. Copy this and enter. And let's access the database URL and phpMyAdmin. Now for its username and password. Details are in the wp-config file. Right click on it and click on code editor. Scroll down, and here is the database username. And here is the database password. Now we are in the database. 
However, we need to modify this database for the site tool. Click here. We need to update this database for this website tool. If I check the website, nothing has changed despite all files being copied. Now we need to upload this database to this database by doing some changes. Open the database with Notepad++. and press Ctrl plus F. This database is linked with the demo URL, which is this one. We'll need to replace this. Let me copy this URL. Make sure to remove this slash and unreplace with. We need to add this website's domain Again, remove the slash. Then click on Replace All. So there are 53 changes. Again, click on Replace All. So it becomes zero. Also, replace HTTPS with HTTP. So all done. Now save the modified database, and you can close this. Also, make sure that both databases have the same prefix, usually it is WP underscore. Anyway, now let's upload it. We will need to replace this database before doing any updates. First back up the database, click on export, and again on export. So we have the backup of this database just in case anything goes wrong. Anyway, click here. Check all. And here, choose true. Click on yes. So everything has been deleted. So you can see the database is empty. Now, this backend will not be accessible. Let me refresh this. So you can see, it has gone to the setup stage. You can leave this as it is. Now offload our modified database. Click on Import. Choose File. And Open. And click on Import. So you should see this. It actually means that the database has been imported correctly. If I click here, everything looks all good. Let's refresh this. Click on Login. Please note that the old login details will not work. Trying with the old username fails. The username and password of the demo site will work as we replace the database. So we are in the back end. Everything looks well good. Let me check the website. The website looks well good too. However, sometimes the website font or images may not be exactly the same. In that case, we will require to upload the theme settings. Depending on the theme you have, upload the theme settings accordingly. On Infold, you can go to Import Export and upload the theme settings. And after this, recheck the website. This seems all good. Now again go to the file manager. And here is the HT access file. Open it. And this is the HT access file we backed up. Let me open this. 
so check if this file has any custom codes use. If yes, then you can copy them and paste them to the other HT access file. If there are no codes, then you can simply leave them. Make the final comparison. So we have successfully transferred this website from one domain to another domain. And for Notepad++, you can simply Google it. This is the one. Simply download and install it. It is a free application. Anyway, we hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.